contest for the runes. Uh, the northern ones taken by Optic, the southern ones by Virtus Pro. That'd be some the good gold for begins. Mr. Alchemist. Fair trade off. Alchemist gets an extra 150 gold from everyone to quick flask off and then into the tree line. So nicely, nicely played by him. And Optic off to a good start once again. Yeah. They're doing well in all three lanes. At 33, he's uh, like net worth wise compared to no one. He's only 100 gold away. But there's this bottom lane, Solo, trying to come closer, body blocking up PPD, buying time for Ramses and his army to attack. You can see, will drop the answer spray, but PPD, way too much damage to try and sustain through. And now they can move out of the answer spray and down towards CC and C. A nightmare to reposition, but it looks like they don't want it. They just want to farm. Solo will get these at uh, almost 3k net worth. That rider's keeping up with him. Oh. oh nightmare's PPD. out. Beaten away a PPD, Ramses can really can't be part of this fight, and he knows it. Because CC and C's in a farming position, there's no precautions, and they go in again. There's no real save, so PPD. Third death and damage until Pasha arrives. Avalanche is out with the brain tap. They can find some revenge on the 33. He's probably the bigger kill now, considering no one was a non factor. Nightmare has to be switched off. Zion creates space and will sacrifice himself with the Bramble. It connects on CC and C. Solo with the body block. He's got the curse crown on top of him too. Alchemist, you won't survive from this one. Or can you? The stun from Zion creates more. They're probably wondering exactly what Optic are up to, or maybe what VP are up to. Pasha and Solo coming down to the bot lane. No level 6 on Solo. They don't have Fiend's Grip. Pasha under the cover of smoke and with the fog of war, they close the distance on CCNC. You'll get the chemical rage off where they surround him. Brain sap, avalanche, and with the combination, chemical rage cannot regenerate that. On CCNC, no chemical rage for six seconds. Ramses has his ulti ready. He hits really, really hard into this low armor alchemist. He just needs Pasha to connect on the stun, They're or else this doesn't about work. Going. Yep, and uh, now they're going. Yep, attack in, Pasha wraps it around the back, TP supports on the way for the Vengeful Spirit, no one's in the neighborhood. He's got Rupture off cooldown one second time, so Zai will arrive. But can they get out of this one? Virtus Pro. Zai's looking for the stun, looking for the target, the army of spiders turn around, 33 has dropped charges, not committing it for the chase. Instead he's just napalming up onto Pasha, but now the Rupture, it's onto the Batrider. They've got no follow-up, there's no mana on no one, he can't even do a blood right just yet. Now, they get a little bit extra vision, 33 forcing him down, so you get a little bit of extra movement speed, really low 33, so no one, he wants to go back into this one. Pasha almost ticking out to the flame break, but it's PPD who's actually going down thanks to the enabling of... PPD doesn't really have boots very much, so can't really hit anyone. And Good observer was seeing no one Roger leaving the bottom lane, or maybe actually watching him return. Diffuser Blade is on Ramsey, so he knows he can try and take this fight against CC and C. He runs away, Diffuser Blade charge was already used, CC and C. Oh, and right. going in deep, way too deep. Solo's got a, he actually got too, too much distance. He can't catch up, right? Yep. But can they keep it up though? Like that was one big mistake from Virtus Pro. Ramses is still adding pressure. And with a blink dagger on a tiny, he's looking to do a lot of damage. And if they can find 33 to begin with, it's possible. But the TP's already coming onto the shrine. TPD coming in further. And the terrorizer all going to start to run away. Batrider. It's a good macro fire burning up the spine links. But the rest of VP just I'm just thinking, oh, have we now just created the new fountain hook? Uh, Ramses is being hunted. That's why the smoke is up. They're trying to find the brood mother inside the jungle. Now he's got a little bit of help now nearby him as Ramses. The initiation will come. Swap him out. Pasha. He's wondering if he really wants to be involved in this. Maybe get a kill over on side. But yeah, as you said, BKB. Ramses just stand his ground. And Pike Gus doesn't do jack against this. And Pike, he almost died to the blood right. But as broke. Rampaging forward. Looking towards C, C, and C. They still have Rupture up. The TP, the nightmare. PPD was almost out of there. But now they find extras. CCMT brought down the old fashioned way. Terrorize to stop the TP out. That was a try and escape the rupture. And PPD, take me, I'm yours. That's what he does. No other way to escape. They may just walk into Roger. That's the worst hero. Unless they got that. Blink reveal. Lasso is up. Shadow Realm from Roger will not come in time. Pycat was even committing the Gus for it, but you see Virtus Pro. They turn their attention, they want to come for the fight, and Pasha comes in close range. You'll get the avalanche on over on two, but the Ice Pipe is good for PPD with the Dual Breath and the Macrofire. They can actually have some damage on this choke point, swapping Ramsey's back out again, so he can't just fight with the Fiend Script. It caught out 33. Solo had the high ground position. The support is arrived. No one's in the engagement. They were so low, he moved so fast, and they'll keep the chase going. CC and C, DP out will be successful. Zai, however, will not be so lucky. The last man left standing. He knew he was dead. A triple kill for Ramses. New bounty runs.
at the very least. So, considering that they're behind, this might have looked pretty bad, but the end outcome being 11k gold behind is probably better than what would have happened if they weren't trying anything. They got out on the map, they got some sort of fight. But still. Now we're looking for the jump in over, but Roger, he already jumped inside the Shadow Realm and chasing down Zai. The army moves forward and is finally. And Zai will fall once again. This is not a happy day for Sapaf. It's coming out in the Courier now. You can at least have it for the next fight. Let's Radiance see if we can get back inside the base. Attack. You see Pasha just moving down. He has to blink away, but the Shiva's guard connects on him, so he can't look away. Terrorized, being used to force everyone away. It hit both the Alchemist and the Drow Ranger. Pasha swapped back into the Macro Pyre, and where's the real fight? The BKB from Mike, and he can stand. Lasso onto the broom, but the BKB was already up. Someone's gonna kill off Zai at the moment. He's killing off Solo. No one, he's in the engagement. The Rupture is out. Drow Ranger standing his ground, but it's off the gaming. Who are coming out on top? The Blade Knight from no one, he'll TP out this This is a big one though. Yep. Observers and sentries down from on both sides of the river by VP, but what it doesn't see is the observer and sentry from Optic Gaming. So Pasha waits around the back, dewarding it down, Blink last zone, there's a nine man trying to protect Roger, so maybe he can get into Shadow Realm, won't happen, a beast grip, CCNC is controlled and held in position, allowing Randy to kill off PPD, now he turns his attention over towards the Alchemist, concocts his with pretty damn good, the BKB was already down for the Brute Mother. With Shakiro and Dro yeah. for, uh, for Optic. And the BKBs are running lower and lower for this Virtus Pro side, now Bloodseeker down to eight, Brute down to six. <laughs> And oh, they're looking at five lines up, cool down, the Pasha exploding PPD. Now go towards the sky, it's ramp is going in, his BKB will now be triggered. He's trying to keep Pycat down and keeping away from, uh, well, Terrorize Monster Combo. Now Munch can see the NC maintain here. He's got his concoction, the double stun is up. See the NC wants to keep battling at 33. The perfect up with the curved ground, it tagged him on two. Zion wants to stand his ground. Pasha, he's got the top of Pycat, the swap out, but no, no one's back in. Everyone's so low. It's BD gone, no one! You can't get distance into no one! On the CCNC, find the kill one! They go deeper, the Avalanche, they'll catch over on two! Tiny, Pasha tossing him up, putting that 10 second BKB to work! Remember, they use their BKBs to, to, to take the Roshan, so Optica on the full run! A tree toss, they can four staff him up, that's 33, holding on to his core, who can then give the cheese over! So Pycat, a little bit more life, but the reinforcements have arrived! BKB from Ramses, he wants this kill, he wants these dead people! 33, can't even get the last zone! He got ruptured in silence! He never got the control! Oh, they have, yeah, zero buybacks, like you said. Yeah, so. this five this game. The only thing they need is the creep wave. Roger's taking care of that right now. They'd be battling backdoor regeneration. So this gives Optic a little bit of extra time for the defense. Alchemist putting down the Ash Spray. Anything he can do to slow down Virtus Pro. Shiva's got as well, but Solo, they've got the Curse Crown. The Nightmare CNT. He has to burn the BKB, but the Avalanche toss into the back line and actually throwing PPD towards the BP side of this fight. Alchemist still the sole survivor. Concoction flies more from CCNC. He'll connect on the Ramses, but they're losing mid racks. There's no way that Optic can actually initiate instant, especially with the dead Batrider. And the dead drone. And the dead everybody. The Fuser Blade, they'll break free, caught inside the Bramble, Curse Crown as well is more of a control factor from Virtus Pro. Radiance Taking out first the mid, now the bottom, Easy and can sit there and watch. He's Radiance actually controlled. Fiend Script's not even there yet, he's just reeling from the Terrorize. Locked inside the Bramble and Pasha, tosses him out, the Aegis Immortal that dies in mid-air. It's activated with Bloodseeker and Tiny, Don't trying to kill him off. Scanning. Optic are Get coming out, fight. that Shrine. It's brought Radiance, down by Pasha's last hit. No one. Blink in. 33! Oh, he couldn't find the target. They just tossed no one forward. 33 will at least get the last throw. Dark Bull is trying to help him out the curse crown. 33. He can actually just die on the top lane. Ramsey was in the middle of Optic. Albert. His BKB is gone. The Heaven's Halbert sabling up Alchemist and they're all terrorized. Pycat can then ground thanks to the BKB. But Pasha is just clubbing him down with tree. See if he can get the concoction out for Ramsey. He just tanks. You can't kill him. Okay, you can kill him, but the follow-up is still going to be there. Defensive, you'll step the rock. Alchemist done by the Cursed Crown. Dead for two minutes. That may just be the game. PPD can buy back, but walk him back into the fountain. The Terrorize is up. He'll cop a lot of damage, but then regenerate it up. Feeding into the Tier 4 tower. It's down already. The Blood Rite keeping Optic contained. Same with the Bramble. DC and Seek is using BKB to try to escape from it in the last zone. They found a target. It's no one. They're pulling him in, but he's still got BKB plus Blade now. Pycat just wants one kill, but he can't even get a support. This really is... Too much power, Virtus Pro are unstoppable, and GG! Virtus Pro will level the C!
series. We may Two lose in the early part of this playoff, but everything yeah. now is yeah. over to three. Yeah, this game had a lot of exciting fights.